<laughs> Guys, we decided to go back to Enchanted Kingdom. Oh, oh, oh just kidding, it's Sky Ranch. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to check out Sky Ranch. It's apparently you pay per ride, so we probably, we just rode a bunch of rides yesterday and they all look about the same. Yeah, people on the Google reviews of this said it's a mini Enchanted Kingdom. So we're gonna go check out the view. Maybe there's some interesting or more, maybe there's some different food stalls to eat Yeah, that'd be cool, that'd be cool, pretty fancy. And we gotta get the view, so that's what we're here for. Best view in Tagatai, where the frag is. Oh, it? let's see. It's Mang Jose. That's the Mexican version of <gasps> uh, Mang and Paul. Do they serve tacos there? They better. Unli tacos. It's uh, seasick tacos. Ah, oh, epic. Like the seasick uh, croquettes we got that one time. Yeah. Not Those yummy. Were weird. They were like goopy. I don't know why they were so goopy. We like crispy seasick. Oh, yes. Very epic. Here's your ticket, sir. It's like a movie theater. It's a lot for uh, one ticket into Skyrim. Mm -hmm. We're going to the stand. Thank you. Oh, oh, almost died. All right, we're in the Sky Ranch. 4D oh. simulator. All right, let's instantly go into the 4D. We love the 4D yesterday. What it actually looks like on there? That's very low res. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, they got a lot of food here. Wow. Whoa, look at this VR thing. Oh, they got the potato curl thingy. Never tried those. No, we're going to in India. Yeah. yeah, they look good. They don't seem practical to eat. No, it's literally just taking chips and then just putting them on a stick yeah. right out. All right, so there is the they, food they, options. They consolidate. They consolidated the food options. Yes. Just uh, up and down. Perfect. Oh, wow. We got all the snackarounders right here. But the most important thing is the view. Is Sky Ranch the best view in Tagai Tai? We will see in a second here. All right, it's about the view here. There's Sky Ranch. It's it's quite the toasty day today. That looks equivalent to the slow roller coaster we went on yesterday. Way slower. <laughs> Here we go. The view. It's a bit obscured right here. Okay, we have the view of this mountain. And then some grass. And some more trees. Wait for it. Sky Ranch might be unfortunate with the amount of vegetation. Wow, you can really see. Yeah. It, it, it feels closer than the one from the Airbnb. Yeah, it does. We're like right here. Nobody's up on there. Why? Is that a zip line? Oh, it is. It looks like it broke. The Ferris wheel. Wow, that power tower is really small. Whoa, what the heck? The one we went on yesterday is probably twice as tall as that. Maybe even triple. That's really small. Here's a little better of a view. Okay. That's pretty sick. It is right on the cliff, like you said. Right on the cliff, but not like a... It's off to the side. Yeah, it's too far now. It's a cool view over that way. Definitely. I mean, the view from over there is probably really snazzy. Up on top of that cliff. Yeah, going into that way. I'm still liking our um, b and B. I I think has the best view so far. So far, I would say that's on top. Oh, this one's pretty snazzy. Look at you can even see like the hiking trail around the rim right there. Oh yeah, it's like not vegetated. I want to go onto that and I want to climb that little one and go into that crater. I want to see what's in there. That'd what's... be so freaking cool. That would be cool. All right, let's explore Sky Ranch. Some fair game. Oh yeah. Literally Enchanted Kingdom. They have mini basketball. Epic. Seems like they have basketball and then that one, which I think might be the most that might be the most difficult one, those fracking rings. The rings are this big and you're supposed to get it on something that's this big and there's this much space in between. Yeah, I hate that one. They have essentially come back to Enchanted Kingdom, but it has a view. So we paid for the view. Yeah, we need to ride this immediately. Alright, let's go. Potato pull apart. Thing. Oh, the most mysterious thing we've seen since India. Yeah, we're like, what the heck? What is that? Oh, it's potato chips pulled apart. Interesting. 
Will it be good? There's only one way to find out. To eat it. Potato thing. Welcome everybody. Today on Isaac Food Talk, we're gonna be trying something new. Water. Whoa! Whoa! Vortex. That really hurt my lip. It might be bleeding now. Unfortunate. Your potatoes will they taste more irony. Yeah, they will. They will. Potato! I don't know what side you're supposed to grab this from. Yeah, I'm grabbing it for this side. That's a potato handle they made for you. It's all potato, even the stick. Holy oh, crunchy. Oh, it's not. See, this is what I was talking about, by it doesn't make sense. Like, why is it on a stick? It just falls right apart. Makes it all hard to eat. <laughs> That's good though. It's like a thick crunchiness. Like it's really thick. Look at how thick those are. I think they just could have like the way they chop this, just chop it all the way through and just make nice crunchy potato chips. Yeah, or even if it's still on the skewer, make it so that it splits so that you can just go. Oh, oh, you just did it. It just didn't fit. I got the sour cream flavor. It's good. Hey. Very tasty. So overall rating, uh, this is probably a gimmick just to attract people to buy it. Yeah, it tastes like a special, like a different, it's not just like a potato chip. It's a little different, but it's unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> More people are likely to buy it if it looks at Like what am I supposed to do at this point now? It's like that part of the corn dog where the sticks, oh, you just lost a fracking chip. It's like the part of the corn dog where the stick is sticking out the other side of the dog and you're like, oh, frack. And then it starts flopping around sometimes yeah. too. Frack. Well, it's, it goes to hands mode now. That's why they were in India. You gotta eat them with your hands. Yum. Sauce. Sauce boss. Could not taste it. Sauce boss. It's a very mild flavor. Don't even know what it is. Sauce boss. Sauce boss. We're going to go exit near, oh my Greek. Whoa, the roller coaster. There's a Kumi? <gasps> Kumi! Are we underdressed? <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting place. I mean, we've said before that in the Philippines, they have a food. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It smells like a quesadilla. Ah, uh, up here, up there. Well, this is fine. Thank you. For the menu, sir, can you stand Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, we have a. It's upstairs without a net. Love you. Love you. We have a tree. Anyways, this place was interesting because you walk in and we got dropped off by a tuk-tuk and um, the person in the parking lot, which we figured was for parking, takes your ticket, gives you this and then they say scan this and then you have to fill out a form and then you come here and they're like, what's your number? And then they just seat you in a second anyway. I guess when it's really full, it's still a weird process. In the US, they just do it at the register. Yeah, no, so it's weird because like you had to like we like walk past him and then he's like wait 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 and we're like, what the heck? Um, so it doesn't seem like people walk here normally no. or to walk into the place. Everyone seems to have pull up in a car. Let's see what this place has. Fancy. Here's the bulalo. Some great quality zoom in, but as you can see, the plate or the bowl is massive. It's like the size of this plate almost. We wouldn't have been able to eat that. No, so we did not order it. Oh shoot, you probably can't hear you very well. He said we would not have been able to eat that, but uh, yeah, so we didn't order that unfortunately because it was uh, a lot and way too much for us. We'll be in Tiger Tai again because we gotta we gotta climb that frack. So maybe we can find a smaller portion. Oh, this is hot. Whoa, that is some fancy looking bachoe. All right, flipping over to me. All right, we have an interesting concept here. You know, the, the pork barbecue, which is an all very delicious favorite of mine here in the Philippines. But also in Indonesia, they have something called, it's a Thai. 
and they have both of them here. So which one is better? They're both, they both may be made in the Philippines, but they're different. Philippines, Indonesia, who will win? Oh, they look the same on that side. Who, I think they're the same thing almost, but this one has some sauce on it. Hopefully it's very spicy and I die. Pork. Oh no, this thing's really red now. Delicious. Delicious? Delicious. It takes a while to chew though. The mic's died. Hey, we're back with bad audio. Anyways, I'm saying the pork barbecue is a delicious, one of the, my favorite things in the Philippines. Even though it's so simple, it's just some pork on a skewer. How's the expensive version of it? Um, if we're doing like Good Mythical Morning style, where it was like the ch cheap street food stuff that we had, um, then the like Gary's or Kuya J middle, and then expensive. I'm going with the middle. Uh -huh. Gary's Kuya J. All right. You're not a fancy pants. Not a fancy pants. You can't do the fancy pants. Let's see. This is a little thick batter. Oh. Oh. I see. Once again, pork. Very chewy. Give me a minute. Okay, so we added the peanut sauce on this one. That's what they did. Ah, it's so, the Thai peanut sauce. So is it like the same, but just with peanut sauce? Yes, it's, it even has the like Filipino pork barbecue underneath, but they just put the peanut uh, sauce on it. So this is Filipino satay then, basically? Yeah, Filipino satay or normal. I think I'm gonna go with the normal for this one. I think uh, the peanut butter takes away the flavor of the normal Filipino the, barbecue. The Filipino barbecue sauce is good. It's really good. But now this is the question. So Thai rice, is it gonna taste like <laughs> peanut butter? Well, that's true. Because the satay thing is the peanut part. Yeah, it's literally the straight up peanut sauce. I'll use a spoon. Let's see what it smells like, first of all. This smells like rice. There's no nutty flavor to that at all. It looks like java rice. I would assume that would be java rice. Yeah, it tastes like java rice. Is that just what they're saying? Oh, it's a Thai rice. It's from Indonesia. Oh, Java is an island in Indonesia. We just don't want to sound like aristocrats. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put aristocrat in there. Aristocrat, Gary, like those mid tier. Forgot about aristocrat. This is good. Java rice. These are both very good. Prefer this one. Keeping it original. Are these peanuts or this is garlic? Oh, wow. That was a very skillful way to eat that. <laughs> I'm truly Filipino. No, it's just java rice. Uh, so I think I would dig into this, but I first gotta do the puto challenge. Puto challenge. And Isaac here, I did the Indonesia versus Philippines uh, video, and now you're doing the... I'm recreating our Ilo Ilo trip right here. So what's better, street market, pachoy, and puto puto? Puto puto. Or fancy pants. Oh, it's way less chewy. Really? You bite through. It actually bites off the piece. Whereas when I literally bite through, and it'd be like a gum. It was like meow, meow, meow. Yeah, that one was interesting. Yeah, it has that like mild sweetness, but it has like a different flavor on there. That's also pretty good. It's almost like, it's not cinnamon, but it's like a, a spice of the sort, I think. Good. Must be steamed with something like that. It still looks like it's bubbling a bit. I like it. Bubbling. It's such an interesting soup because it's like spaghetti noodle looking noodles. There's going to be a lot less like of the meat chunks in this. Ah. And more of like these things. That is tasty. That is tasty. Hmm. Like always, I don't think I'll ever say it's worth it because you're paying four times the price. Uh -huh. But it's definitely... Not that way. It's slightly better. Very slightly better. What's better about it? Uh, the the flavor is more. It comes together a bit better. Uh, whereas like sometimes in the other one, I would get more of like too much of one thing in one bite. Not saying that's a bad thing, but this one is sort of like it actually mixes well. I think. Let's taste it. Good. So head to head contest. Who's the winner? But Choi La Paz. Yes. Oh. Oh. All right. Easy answer. Nice. We still have piaya that we need to get. The waiter wasn't certain if we we're gonna be able to get it right away or not, so we're yeah, still waiting. Not exactly sure what you might. So we will see. But look at that fracking view. That's what we're here for. That's why we're paying the big bucks. Ah, yes. And we're still going budget in the big bucks. Let's go.
food. Eat. Yay. Oh, that's hot. Ooh. Oh, my cat feeling it in my calves yeah, right I now. I really feel it in my calves. What the stuff. heck? Guys, we walked. Uh, oh, we never said in the last video. We walked 20,000 steps last video. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> in our long day at Enchanted Kingdom. So we're feeling a little bit in the legs. Like we literally do nothing. Well, we got some piaya. We'll try that in a moment. It's nice uh, and packaged up. It's a bit warm still, so we hey. want to try it while it's warm. Excellent. And that was a Hawaii Daco. Perfect pronunciation. I know. By the something in the face. Really? A leaf? Yes. The question remains, was that the best view in Tagatai? I'm gonna give it a big fat no. There is another restaurant or cafe you might call it oh. of sorts that uh, people also suggested. Where the frack is it? The map says it's somewhere over here. I think there'd be a big sign. It says it's down the next road. Ah, I'm gonna guess that's not yeah. it. This is a surprisingly busy street for how rural this area is. This street is just popping, popping. There was traffic earlier. Right now it's just flowing constantly. Oh, look at a street food driver. Um, is this, does this not a, the thing could possibly be wrong. What the frack? We're looking for frack in Starbucks. Where is it? There's a coffee essential. Hey everybody, welcome to the, the Bale Daco, B Balai Daco. Oh! Uh, Piaia taste test. We got a six pack of them here. Wow, that's a lot of Piaia. They're nice and warm. Oh, are they gonna be soft? Our last ones were not. They're a bit sticky. A moment of truth. Will it be a nice soft? Ah. Oh. It's still. Oh, that is way better than all the other ones we've had. <laughs> that is way better. No knock on the other ones. This one's just fresh. Straight the off filling, the griddle. The filling's really good. Nice and soft. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Oh yeah. I, I, you could almost make a piaya song. You seem so happy right now. Give me Piaia, I want Piaia, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this Piaia. It's making me very thirsty. Uh -oh. Too bad there isn't a Starbucks around here to eat at. Uh, it's very flat. When we walked by, it kind of smelled like a tortilla being cooked, which is interesting. It does actually, if you put your nose to it, but it doesn't taste like a tortilla. It smells exactly like a quesadilla. And it tastes nothing like a quesadilla. Whoa, the inside is not the flavor I expected. It's definitely a different filling uh -huh. than the Ilo Ilo ones. It has more of like a date mm -hmm. taste. Yeah, I could see that. A date or like a fig, but it's some sort of bean, I think. It's something I've never heard of. That's pretty yummy. That's a lot better, like you said. And it's still like, it's soft, but it still has a crunch. Yeah, the like, the crumble. Which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, where's wow, the Starbucks? Wow, look at that doggo. Oh, Just yeah. bragging effort. Ooh. There's two of them. They got one on each side. Crack. Crack. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. It just came back out. But it is good. I think I work. Are you going to understand me? I really am. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Hello. Guys, we can't see anything. No, it's very, look at that. My hat is very helpful. We asked this guy. I'm just hoping I don't get hit by a car. I asked, I asked him where Starbucks was and it's not there. So the Google Maps is just totally wrong. So. Fracking Googer, what are you doing? Goog. Can't trust the Goog here. Can't trust the Goog. Does this look stylish? Yeah. Over my eyebrows? There was always one kid in baseball that wore them like that. Yep. Had to be. Well, at the end of a long day in Tagaytay, we got up nice and early, switched hotels, and tried to find the best fracking view. I think the winner of the best fracking view is our Airbnb.
Look at that. The restaurants just couldn't compete. And we have Antonio's for breakfast tomorrow. We'll see, but I don't think it's gonna beat this. This is pretty impressive. So thank you all for watching. Well, let's get some fracking. Oh! Whoa, boy, lately. Cracker! Yes, we got the toys little meal for you guys today. We're gonna be trying some Kenny Rogers Roosters. Crackers just said we're trying Kenny Rogers Roosters in Tucket Thai. We got all new stuff from Kenny Rogers Roosters today, and it's gonna be up. Oh, Kenny, you dog! Staples are dangerous. Is that a Sprite? Sprite. It's not cold. Why does it look like water? Oh. Sprite. These are smaller than I expected. Kenny! Where the frack is the Coke I ordered? I guess now I'm gonna starve. Uh, uh, uh. But these are new. Uh, this is either the wrap or the pizza. This might be the pizza because it says corner pizza. Oh my it. gosh, this is your wrap. It looks like a burrito. We need a knife. Oh wow. Oh, it, it, it's not wrapped like that one is. Oh, they really, you really got mastered here. There we go. That looks like some doused frag and mac and cheese. Oh, baby. I do like mac and cheese. He likes mac and cheese too? I think he like, might like everything. Oh. Right, Crocker? <laughs> he might like everything, but I definitely hate him. You hate him? Yes. Why? He hasn't done anything wrong. He's replacing Duck. What the heck? In your heart. There's two of you. Ah! It's so soft during the day was expecting. Just so many destroyed expectations today. Whoa. All right. Oh, it's warm, actually. That's actually tasty. That's pretty good, yeah. Dang, Kenny. You dog. You dog. We got a wrapper. Is that it? A wrapper and artist? The baby? It wrapper? Some like chicken Caesar type thing. Oh, wow. Is it exploded? It's very wrapped, mashed. Usually like a wrap has like an open, or I guess they usually split in half, that's why. Wrap time. I'm pretty good. Hey, Kenny, you dog. That's good, I like that. I haven't had a Caesar wrap in a long, long time. It was back in the States. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I got chips, they came, this came with chips. And now the brand new Kenny Rogers Roosters thing that's going on right now. The truffle mac and chill. Wow, that looks very strange. It smells. Every time we, oh wow, yeah. Every time we get truffle things here, they smell so strong. That looks this is so buttery. Holy that also looks pretty buttery. This may affect me. I may have to take a second shower today. It's kind of broccoli. It tastes like the truffles that we're used to getting in the Philippines. It's like, uh, not the flavor of real truffles, but it's like truffle flavoring. We've yeah. been to Tuscany where truffles are from, so it kind of ruins <laughs> fake truffles yes, when you've yes. had real truffles. Yes. Wow, this is pretty good. I actually like it. I like the taste just kind of like, it just kind of comes off like a garlicky, garlicky type taste. And it's good. Kenny Rogers Rooster? Kenny Rogers Rooster. Oh, frack. We have knives everywhere we go. It's epic. Oh, it makes it seem like I have more chips, but now it's less oh. chips. Not stale. That's good. And not flavorful. No! <laughs> okay. Kenny Rogers Roasters. You can always count on Ken to bring you some late night snacks. Even though it's not even late, it's like not even 9 o'clock yet. But it's no. the only thing open, really. I'm getting tired. <laughs> We've been out all fracking day. Epic. Now, we get to spend our day with, with Crocker. Crocker! Is that Kenny Rogers Roaster? Rogers Roasters! Whoa, whoa. We have some Fracker neighbors blaring their music. The frack. Crocker, you're gonna get cold out there. <laughs> Come on, Crocker. <laughs> there you go. You'll be nice and warm now. <laughs> I feel warm and cozy next to you. Aw, oh, thanks, Crocker. You're so nice to me. I will crawl under your armpit tonight for extra warmth. Oh, <laughs> thanks. That's good for you, buddy. Good night, Crocker.